Welcome to what is now day four of the NC500. We just drove through some of the most stunning scenery, like these cliff rock things and there was just sheep grazing on the side of the road and I've just pulled up so I could show you a bit more of what it looks like but it's super super windy <laughs> so right now I'm just sat half in the car trying to get shelter from the wind it's sunny but windy so there's that chill factor involved it's so windy out here <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go back in the car and we'll head to the beach where it's probably even windier but we'll try our luck I just can't get over the, the 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 views on the north coast because every time I'm driving along it just keeps getting better and better I mean I've just been stood here for about five minutes just saying wow oh my god because look at this I just stopped by this awesome looking lock at this really cute cafe here and I've got a cup of tea and a uh, traditional Scottish scone <laughs> with a uh, Cornish clotted cream but yeah um, it was a much needed break for me and Gaia <laughs> and it's just absolutely beautiful here obviously it's still very windy and um, it's sunny though so I've got the shorts on today I picked the coldest day so far to put the shorts on but I wanted to be prepared in case it was hot <laughs> but I think I'm gonna have to put my leggings back on after this because I'm a little bit chilly now. We made it to the beach the name of which I cannot pronounce so I'll write it on the screen but it looks very very beautiful even in this wind that is never ending. It's actually really chilly I've put the leggings back on and some of the shorts but we'll go down to the beach and check it out anyway. At this beach there is also a zip line that goes between these two um, cliffs here <laughs> and um, it only runs when the weather permits so maybe today it is a bit too windy for it but since Sky won't be allowed to go on it neither am I. Again there's almost nobody on this beach and this is supposedly like the most popular beach on the NC500 for tourists to come to even the car park I don't know if you can see up there but I just parked the car, the van, on the side of the road in this um, car park there. Even that wasn't too busy. And there's also like a few other spots further up the road where you can park, but I think that's um, specifically for the zip line customers. I just really don't understand where everybody is because I really thought it's the summer holidays for schools in. Scotland and in England and I thought the NC500 would be packed full of tourists like local tourists or international tourists but I've just I've really barely seen that many people which obviously has been great <laughs> because I don't want to go to places that are super super crowded but it just blows my mind that nobody's come to these places I remember when I was in Wales and I, I said I was a bit worried that the NC500 would be too busy Evidently, it's not. Go on. This is honestly the softest sand I've felt in a while. Oh. Come on, Gaia. Like, look. Woo! Look at all these. Look at all these amazing cliffs around me. Nobody's here. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, Oh wow, this beach is so good. Again, it's got like the finest sand I've ever seen. Not ever, but you know. And then it's got these these cliffs. I don't know what they're called. Cast stone cliffs. I don't know. And then it's got grass. It's got sand dunes. It's got me and Gaia. It's just bloody oh bloody fantastic bloody fantastic it is so tonight i am staying in sango bay oasis or Dunnes campsite i'm not too sure what it's called but i'll put the name on the screen i really needed a shower and to empty the chemical toilet which was really fun because i dropped the lid off the toilet down the drain but luckily i'd um, already rinsed my toilet out a few times so when i stuck my can down the drain it wasn't 
as disgusting as it could have been although it was still pretty gross but here it's only 10 pounds a night for me the van and Gaia dogs are free and the facilities are so nice the showers were just the perfect temperature and they had like lots of room to put your belongings and like not get all your clothes wet and stuff like what usually happens so it's an absolute bargain and it's just by the um, cliff by the beach so it's very very windy <laughs> but the views are absolutely amazing definitely worth the 10 pounds it's obviously quite busy i mean i say obviously i haven't seen anybody else on the route really but um there's a few other motorhomes and uh, vans here and then a few people um like with tents and and so on like that but it is very windy <laughs> very windy indeed so i hope we'll be warm enough tonight so you can see it's just rain, rain and more rain. Oh, there's a poor soul over there in a tent. <laughs> At least we're in the van. If it stops raining later on, I'll see if she's up for it and um, we'll have a little stroll down to Smoo Caves because we didn't get to go yesterday. She's just such a little sleepy head. <laughs> it's now 3.30 and we've just made it outside the van because because it was raining all day and now it's um stopped raining but it's still very very windy but she needs some exercise we've got our matching coats on both wearing purple the views are still wonderful and uh we're gonna oh we're gonna try and head down to the caves but we'll see we'll see how we go in this weather um, I've got my waterproof minus five rated jacket on and my super cozy leggings and my hiking boots so um, yeah I'm, I'm all set she's got herself and her just her waterproof coat not her winter coat so she's she's all good and um, yeah hopefully hopefully we'll make it there and then um, tomorrow we can we can head on oh dear some kid just fell over outside the um, motorhome, but it's okay, his parents were there, so that's okay. It's really nice to see um, families out here doing doing a bit of the van life. Me and Gaia are a family. Oh, is she going to the toilet? Okay, see you later. We're now at the start, the entryway to Smoo Caves. Not gonna lie, on the way here, I actually got a bit warm. I had to undo my coat a little bit um, as it was quite uphill. But it was only a short 20, 30 minute, probably more like 20 minute stroll from um, the Sango Bay campsite. And once you arrive here, it's very well signposted. There's quite a big car park, but it's already, um, it's already full. So it shows that it's a very popular tourist attraction. You can see the grand opening to the Smoo Caves and you can tell why it's such a popular tourist attraction on the NC500 because it's literally just on the main road, the main route, and it's a few steps to come down and then you're here. So this is as far as you can get by walking, but inside the cave behind me, there's a waterfall, an internal waterfall, um, and you can view it from the platform here. Otherwise, if you take the boat tour, you can go further on inside the cave. I would say overall, if you're doing the NC500, then it's definitely worth coming here just because how it's literally on on the route like it's not hard at all to get here and i would recommend doing the cave slash boat tour i think it costs 10 pound um the man told me but dogs are not allowed on the boat so unfortunately i couldn't go but it looked really cool if you could go further into the cave across the water and stuff like that so definitely come check out smooth caves i've just come to this place on the side off a lock it's just a like one of the, the lay-by park-ups again and it's absolutely beautiful like I say this every time but I'm always just amazed that people live in places like this the weather isn't doing it justice but like it's just so tranquil and quiet I'd imagine living in one of those houses uh, like yeah there is actually Tesco delivery out here as well. I just passed a Tesco delivery van, so it's not as remote 
as you'd think it would be. So at the end of what was a very stormy, cold, windy, wet day, appears to be some still weather. You can see now at the end of the day at 10 o'clock it's all quiet and still, just a light breeze. So with that I bid you a farewell from Gaia. Where is she? From Gaia and I. <laughs> there we go, I can never get the angle right. So thank you for watching this vlog on the NC500 and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!